Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert here. In this video, we're gonna install Emacs on a Chromebook in 2024. So the first thing we need to do is install the Linux development environment. And to do that, I'll go down to my launcher down here, and I'm gonna search for settings. I'll find settings and click on that. And on the left here, if we scroll on down all the way on the left, we see about Chrome OS. So we're gonna click on that, and then we can scroll down, and we have this Linux development environment. I'll click setup, and then this Linux development environment wizard will pop up. I'll click next. Uh, it's gonna give me a username, which I believe is based off of your email. I would change that now if you wanna change it. And also a recommended disk size. This can be changed at a later point. I'm gonna stick with the defaults and click install. I'm gonna let that run through. And once that installs, I'll come on back. Okay. When the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. We can now close our settings. And let's open up the terminal here and make this a little bit larger. We want to make sure everything's up to date. We're going to type sudo apt update, and then two ampersands, and then sudo apt upgrade. I'm going to do a dash y, and that just says that, yeah, any additional storage you need for the upgrade, please do it. So I'll just hit enter. And it'll go ahead and update everything, and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once everything is updated, we can clear out the screen here and we can install Emacs. I'll type sudo apt install Emacs. And I'll show you what happens if I don't put the dash Y flag. Okay, so if I don't put it, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna take this additional space? I'm gonna say yes, hit enter, and let that run through. Okay, now that that's run through, we can close out the terminal. If we go back to our launcher here, we can click on the launcher and go down to Linux apps. And you'll see I have icons for the Emacs Emacs GUI and terminal. I'm just gonna right pin the GUI to the shelf and click to open. And there we go, we have Emacs installed on a Chromebook. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.